everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy's Sweet Life, and today I just want to do a little bit of an update how I'm getting my project life for 2022 going. I totally am changing it up this time for project life. I'm trying really hard to just stick to a two-page spread. I'll walk you through that, but I was super excited. This is something I used to do and I got really out of the habit like a long time ago. I haven't done this in a really long time, but the premise is you look through that day's photos, you get rid of the duplicates and the things you don't like and hold on to the ones that you want in your album. So you'll either print those off to scrapbook later or you will put them in to the Project Life app. So I have been doing that every day and I'm really trying to just do one 12 by 12 project life spread every week and then print out one photo or photos for just one other scrapbook page. So I ended up printing this out, which was just super cute. I was trying to get her to smile and she did and she snuggled up against me and I just love this photo. I'm so excited. This morning I was just really excited to print these out and this just made my heart want a scrapbook because it's such a good little moment and I want to capture these. This is like the whole point of me scrapbooking is capturing these moments and capturing the memories of my children and this was just one of those moments where I was laying in bed last night going through the photos of the day and I came across this photo and I took a little collage print too because we took a lot of photos that day and it just made my heart sing. Just totally felt the passion again. It just reignited something like looking at these photos thinking, yes, I need to scrapbook this. And so I printed them out first thing today. I will do this in my scrappy session. When I end up going into the scrapbook room to scrapbook, I'm gonna be scrapbooking these and I'm super excited about it. So this totally lit the fire under me and I'm so happy. So I wanted to go ahead and just talk about it in this video. I have filmed a couple of clips to talk you guys through how I'm gonna be setting up my project life 2022. So I will jump to those clips now. I just wanna show you how I am working on project life. This is gonna be my new routine that I am trying to build up because I am going to try to do project life 2022. And the best way to do this for me, I went ahead and planned it out. I'm gonna have a 12 by 12 two page spread. One page is going to be a project life spread, and then one page is going to be a traditional scrapbook page. So that is it for every week. I'm really gonna narrow it down to the best of the best moments and everyday things for the project life spread. And then on the other side, it is going to be my scrapbook pages, and I may alternate like which side goes which, because sometimes I like to use both sides of the scrapbook paper. So in that case, I'll adjust which side is the project life and which side is the scrapbook page. Anyway, so the scrapbook page is just gonna be the best, best photo of the week or the best photos of the week for that side of things. So I ended up going ahead and starting setting this up. I've been redoing indoor plants, so my nails are horrible. I just realized there's some dirt under my nails. Um, anyway, so I ended up going ahead and starting to set up my first page here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so hopefully you guys can see a little bit better. I know the coloring is gonna be all sorts of wonky. So I ended up going ahead and setting up the page. I do want a week number and dated thing for this. I don't generally tend to do that. This is the Project Life Becky Higgins app I'm using here. So I went ahead and just picked a collage print. I ended up basically buying almost all of the different orientations. For this one, I wanted to go ahead and stick with this layout so I can get some big pictures in, some three by fours in, but I really wanted the title thing to not be a four by six. If I'm going to do like a week in review style one, I will do a four by six with some like paragraph style text on it. But for this, I just wanted to do a weekly spot. So I've got the week one and then the dates underneath it. And I totally just realized something in the app. I'm sure other people realize this, but I just realized this. I don't know if it's a new update thing or if it's always been there, but you can add multiple things of text to a picture. So when I'm going in here, I always just did that to add some text and I didn't realize there was this plus sign. So you can add another text box. I don't know how many maximum you can add, but I was totally shocked, blown away, because I was thinking, oh, I really want the dates underneath the week number. And I thought I only had one text box to work with. No, you can add more. So I ended up just figuring that out. I've used this app for years and years and that was my first time figuring it out. So anyway, I ended up Putting this together, I did the, uh, let's see if I can zoom out, there we go. I did the writing here with that same tool. I just have that text tool available. And then the writing for this one, I wanted it to be a little bit fancier. So when Stella or Olivia say something that I want to write down, I go ahead and write it directly on the photo using the Little Moments app. I'll show you guys really quick. 
This is just the little moments up. You can pull a photo and add text and designs and things. I've showed this in other videos, but I just ended up making this three by four. And actually this was the day before. It actually wasn't for today, but it went along with the cookie photo that they had. And I took multiple photos. All of them had at least one hand. Most of them had two hands. So I went ahead and embraced that. They were, you know, they're eating the icing and picking off fruit and things because they both helped make this, which was super cute. I did the icing and then they stuck on most of the fruit. I helped a little bit with the strawberries, but it was just really, really cute. They wanted a Texas shaped design on there. So I put it together for them. I loved their hands in the photo, just captured it. And then this photo is her eating a piece of the cookie cake yesterday because we made it it was for New Year's, but we ended up having it on New Year's Eve as well. So she licked off all the icing and it's like icing all over her face. You can see that, <laughs> super cute. Uh, anyway, I ended up writing the quote and the story behind it earlier on. And if she's like throwing a tantrum and I'm taking a photo of her throwing a tantrum, I write down what her tantrum's about. Cause a lot of times, you know, she's too, it's not that big a deal, but it's hilarious. Like what she gets upset about sometimes. Most of the time it's aggravating, but sometimes it's actually really cute and funny and I want to document some of those moments. So this is how I set it up. I am going to try to do a daily habit of where I'm going through the photos of the day and putting it in. And I don't know that I'm going to be doing this every day. It might end up being at the end of the week, but this is something I'm trying because I'm excited about New Year's and I'm trying to develop new habits and new routines. And so this one's one I thought I could just add in. Oops, low battery. This is just one I thought I could add in with, um, my daily routine because I'm trying to come up with better AM and PM routines. So I'll talk about this one in a second, but I am using the power sheets. I've shown this on my other channel. I am just adding to this one. So right here, it's got my information. AM workout, AM routine, no spin, daily stoic, bed on time. So I wanted to go ahead and write in um, project life. And that way I can incorporate that into my morning, probably into my evening routine. I incorporate that in. So I will end up taking this page out and sticking it in my weekly planner that I'm going to be using. And I went ahead and wrote this in for next week. Oh, I'm so sorry. I totally am not zoomed out. Totally was not showing this on the screen. So I end up having the tending list. I'm going to try to stick with this for the month. And it is January 1st. So I'm like really gung ho about starting things. Some of my main goals for the year are establishing a really good morning and evening routine because I feel like when those things go smoothly, life is just a little bit easier and calmer for me. So I'm definitely working on my AM routine, adding things to it. I'm going to be tweaking it around throughout the months, but I'm trying to just establish a pattern. So I'm adding this one. I just wrote this in work on PL project life. So I will try to do that probably every evening. I will end up working on that and going through the photos of the day. I used to be really, really good about going through the photos of the day and just looking through them, deleting, you know, duplicate ones that are kind of blurry or whatever and picking out the best ones of the day. And it has been a really, really long time since I've had that really good daily habit. So I need to get back to that. I am using one other app. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the other app while I'm thinking about it, or I might forget. The other app that I really have liked is this one called Get Sorted. And there she is throwing a tantrum. I don't even know why for this one, but she is too. She throws tantrums, but this one you go through every day and you sort through photos and you give yourself a goal. It's called Get Sorted. So I have tons of photos. I'm going through November and I have eight batches left to complete. So you pick a goal. My goal is 100 photos a day. And you can see daily goal reach one batch completed. So that means I did 100 photos for today. I just went ahead and went through it. And then I put my project life together and then turned the camera on. So here is my overview. I ended up going through all the photos um, from 2020 and back. They're just not on my phone anymore. I have everything backed up, but I don't have them on my phone. I'm trying to go through all of 2021. And you can see I still have 4,100 uh, items in this. You can see most of them I have pared down. So I've been working on this quite a while. This is part of my nightly ritual. It's just going through a hundred photos, knocking them out. And if I have time during the day, I'll just knock out more. So I've done, I've already project lifed, I think January and February, maybe even March, but the photos are still in here. And then I sorted all of the photos up to, I'm working on November. And I love it tells you how many photos you have of each thing. So like September and August have already been project life. You see, I don't have very many photos, just like workout photos and important information on there. You can see those are workout photos. 
<laughs> and then the other ones are still to be sorted. You can see I have 1147 photos for December and I've already gone through and deleted quite a few of them because a lot of them were duplicates. Like Christmas week, I went ahead and deleted duplicates. That number's pared down from previous. So I really, really like that Get Sorted app. So I use that one now a lot and I think you get to do like sorting three months free and then you have to start paying for that app and the app is just a flat rate. I think it was $3.99 or $4.99. So I just bought the app so I can just go ahead and sort everything and I love, love, love that app. I really highly recommend that one. And so I will end up taking that January attending list and sticking it in my planner for the year. This is the Moxie Life. I've done tons and tons of planner videos over on my lifestyle channel. It's not necessarily really about what planners you're using. I'm just showing you guys how I'm using them to set up my scrapbooking goals. I talked about goals in my previous video, but here is that orange section. So it says fun Fridays, one scrap video, work on scrapbook room. And that's my goals for the week. And then I didn't do much of anything as far as habit tracking because everybody's still home. So I will do the same thing for this coming up week, January 3rd through 9th. Set up Project Life album, film scrap goals, and Project Life 2022 plan. So that ends up being something I've already filmed. Anyway, I'm going to write it in here. This is the point of this whole <laughs> walking through the planner. I have this right here, work on Project Life. So it's front and center on my habit tracker. I actually wrote it first, even though I'll have other things like closing my rings on my Apple Watch, getting my AM routine down, things like that. So I'll change these from week to week or month to month, however it ends up working out. But for now, I want that front and center. So I end up working on it. And then I will be using this page from week to week, doing scrapbook planning in here, which I am very excited about. I'll be really diving into the scrapbooking and trying to work on it. So I didn't actually physically set up my Project Life 2022 yet. So I will get the album set up and then make my first scrapbook page later this week. It's actually just the first. So I'm still technically into this week. I'm really, really happy to go ahead and start working on this week starting tomorrow. It'll be my planning day on Sunday. But I've already got the Project Life stuff started on there. So I've got those two done. And then I'll show you what I've done to set up. And I'm going to have to go and check things off on this because I have some of Project Life 2020 one already done. I've got a few months already done, actually quite a few months of the album done. So I really need to just go fill some of that in, but I already wrote this out. So trying to uh, fix my page here. Something's wonky. Oh, it's because it's got a pen. <laughs> it's like, why is this not working? There's a pen. So this is what I did to set up my project life. So 2021, I didn't do week number. I'm just doing monthly and however many pages it takes is however many pages it takes. And I'm trying to do just very, very few printed photos that are gonna be on traditional scrapbook pages. Most of them are just going straight to Project Life type layouts and I've got tons and tons of those already done. So I need to go back and make sure I'm marking off what months are still left to do. And I'll have like photos sorted, uh, photo collages made, Project Life layouts made. And then I'll be like, check them off when they're all physically printed. That's on the to-do list, but I set the page up. And then for Project Life 2022, I've got week numbers. So this goes all the way to 52 there on the back. And so I've got my Project Life spread. I'll just write the info there. And then scrap layout. I'll just write the title here for whatever week I'm doing. So I'm just gonna be keeping track of it that way and checklisting things off. I will share the progress with you guys, of course. And I know in the years previous, recently, I have said, I'm gonna get back to scrapbooking. And I gung ho for a little while. And then I say, I'm gonna get back to scrapbooking. And I'm gung ho for a little while. And I always fall off. I feel like that lull after the new year is always just inevitable, especially for me. So I'm gonna really try hard to make sure it's front and center in my planner, in my goals, so it stays prioritized. That's part of the problem is I, I run into, I have other things to do. And this turns into a fun thing that gets put on the back burner and is not as important because, you know, other things have to be done. There's things that have to be done and this doesn't, this can always wait and it totally gets neglected. And I really, really want to not do that this year. So I'm really trying to set myself up for success. I'm really happy with some of the progress that I made on the 2021, especially the last couple of months when I started really working on it again. I feel like I worked on it really good at the beginning of the year, fell off of it. So I really am excited to go through and write all these down and start printing some of the 12 by 12s that I have on the Project Life app. And I think that really covers everything. 
I'm super excited about using the app and getting my week set up. I probably will go in and set up, uh, let me find it again. You can see like my project life is one of my first icons up here. So I used to really be good about using it, but I haven't been in a long time. So I thought I would go in and just set up all of my week numbers for the month. I'm just including January 1st in on this first week. It's just the first through the eighth, but I thought I would just sit down, do all of the numbers. So I have these pages already set up and I can always just change what layout to fit it if I decide to do something different. But I think I'll probably stick with this layout. So I get some of the four by sixes, mostly the three by fours, and then I just get the small title page for now. So I will change it up at some point, but I feel like just to get the routine, just to get the pages already set up, I can go ahead and do that and get all the weeks one through five set up. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video, like this look at how I'm setting things up, how I'm prioritizing everything. I do have a whole section dedicated in here, so it's one eighth of my goals. So I was really happy about doing it that way. Even in here, there are seven, actually there are eight goal spots for the year. So these are my annual goals. You get eight spots and then a two page spread for each goal, like two page spread. So. For this, I ended up putting it as my second goal. Those systems and routines for AM, PM and things like that, that is number one. And then number two is scrapbooking. So I'm really trying to get back into it. You can see, make scrapbooking part of my life again. I just want it to be something that I yearn to do and I want to have that passion for it again. I've just lost it over the last few years. I feel like I've made it a priority and it's going to be front and center this year. So I'm super excited about it. And these are the three planners that I use. Oh my God. I'm gonna plan on using all the time these three. <laughs> anyway, if you want more planner videos, go check out my other channel because I've been doing tons and tons of planner videos. I'm so excited to get this year going to conquer goals. And that's really it. I'm gonna set up my album the same way. I have not actually like physically put the stickers on the side of the album. I hope this video helped you walk through my process for this. Updating my project life is one of those daily habits that I'm trying to get into. It just takes me, you know, up to five minutes, not even. Some nights it's just like one minute looking through the day's photos and picking one to stick on the Project Life page. And it's just a really quick thing that I'm hoping to get back into the routine of. But while I'm working on it, I am checklisting it off of a checklist so that I remember to do it every day. And so far I've really enjoyed it. I wanted to share this with you guys. I know there are gonna be days that I miss, but for now that's my process is trying to get into the habit of doing it so then it becomes second nature and I get the album done. Like I almost have a whole 12 by 12 Project Life page done without even having to really think about it. You just look through the photos, add a photo and that's it. <laughs> it's so easy in these little digestible chunks. So I hope you guys got something out of this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.